Hey, party people in the house. Happy Thursday. Rise and shine, rise and shine, and give y'all the glory. Listen, well, I'm, well, before I get into it, my name is Dawn Fields, and I help network marketers who are struggling in the business or newbies to the business to kind of learn how to not struggle. And I am right now not a seven, six or seven figure earner in the business, but what I am is a person who likes to learn, and so I like to share with stuff with you the stuff that I have learned so that you can grow with me too. <laughs> now, let me tell you, I was not able to post yesterday. I, I made a video three times yesterday. I don't know what it was about that message that, that, that didn't, they didn't want to get out there. <laughs> First time I made the video, um, th there was no sound. I don't know how the sound didn't work. I mean, I'm just recording on my phone. I've never recorded something and the sound didn't work. The second time I tried to put it on, the sound was like real spotty. Like I was, I was talking, but it was like, ah, 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 like real crazy. And the third time I tried to make the video, every two seconds the phone was ringing. <laughs> it's like, why are they not want me to make this video today? So I'm gonna try to get it today. And I, I'm gonna give the message that I tried to give to you yesterday. So the message that I was trying to get to you was explaining you who you are in this world. Like who you really are. Because a lot of us are confused. We don't know the power that we have. We we have been uh, programmed and, and made to believe that we are lesser than what we are. We have been really programmed. Like even with the foods that they feed us and the chemicals they put in our clothes and the... Um, chemicals they spray on us in the air it's all designed to keep us in a certain state where we never figure out who we really are in this world it's, it's designed to separate us from our creator now you are the, the truth of the matter is you are a spiritual being having a physical experience and until you learn how to the, the, what this has to do with network marketing is until you learn how to uh, change your mindset it's going to be a struggle so you have to change minds people who are top earners in this industry have a totally different mindset from people who are not a top earner i listen to the top earners and i listen to what they say and how they say it and what they believe like uh, one of the top earners in, in my industry, he always say, oh, it's easy for me to recruit people. I mean, recruit people is not a problem. I, I can recruit hundreds of people. And he goes out and he does it. And the reason he does it because he really believes that he he believes at the core that he can recruit hundreds of people. Now, people like myself, I have been saying, and no more, but I've been saying, you know, it's difficult to recruit people. And so because that is the belief that I had, it has been difficult for me to recruit people. So that's why I know that I have to change my mindset and so do you. When you change your mindset, that's when you're able to start doing the things that you you, you want to do. Like I have another um, another uh, top earner in my industry and she always says like, you know, just go out and do it. I do this every day. I, I'm good at it. I'm excellent. I can do it. I like it. I do. And so she's good at it because she believes that she is. But if you if it's been a struggle, like I've been good at everything that I've done in my life. No, no joke. Anything I decide to do in my life, I've been very good at it. But with this, it has been a struggle for me. But see, I know that I have to change that way of thinking, that mindset, because that mindset is what's keeping me stuck. So mindset is really important. Now, what I do when I want to really learn something is I get in, in grossed in that thing so my thing now is focus on mindset so i want to really focus on mindset and the, the thing that we have to understand that what the mindset is and most of us don't really understand what the mindset is. we know that it's a way of thinking blah, blah 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 but we don't really know what it is what the mindset is is this who you are to the core who who we are to the core is basically our mind we are spiritual beings having a physical experience and in this world we like we like to separate um us see what people don't realize is that there is a battle going on every day in this world there's a battle between good and evil nobody sound crazy if you're not not into that but 
It truly is a battle of good and evil. They tell us all the time in big movies and, and television shows and stuff. But it is the truth. There's a battle between good and evil going on all the time. And the the winner of this battle is the person or is the, the entity who can get the most souls. The entity who can win the most souls is the winner of the war against because the what they're going after is your soul. Your soul is what they're trying to get. And this is important to you because once you understand who you are, we, we are spiritual beings. Let me tell, if it wasn't your spirit, for your spirit, you would uh you would be oh mother, you would be you you wouldn't be here. Like I seen my mother's spirit leave her body. Like I watched her spirit leave her body when she passed away. She was in my arms. Um, I might have told the story to some of you, but my my, my my mother was on hospice. She had cancer, but it wasn't really cancer that killed her. What killed her was they had put this tube in her throat to drain some fluid out of her stomach. And when they took the tube out, they did something. When they scratched something or tore something inside her, and they didn't know how to fix it. And so they, um, she couldn't, she couldn't eat, she couldn't drink, and she ate her drink and she came right up. She went from 180 to 80 pounds in about two months, less than two months. And she, she was, they put on hospice because they couldn't, there was nothing they could do for her. And, um, my sister is like a, a home health aide profession. Well, she, yeah, well, she, she was doing home health aid work, and, um, so she was taking care of my mother on that aspect. Like, I came back home to move in with my mother. My sister was there, and we took care of my mother, but my sister did the stuff like bathing her, stuff like that. So, um, on this particular night, my sister mm -hmm. was getting her ready, getting my mother ready for bed, and she said, hey, ma, hey, Dawn, come help because she's not moving. She's not, she wasn't being cooperative. Now, for that day and the day before, she had just kind of stopped speaking, just staring into space. She just wasn't doing anything. So, um, so my sister was like, can you help me? Because I can't, I'm trying to get her to move, but she's not moving. So, I came, and I just picked up, and she was 80 pounds. She was light as a feather. I just picked her up and I moved her over to the chair. And when I moved her over to the chair, she, she sat down and she kind of slopped over a little bit. And then I seen this water, like gush out of her mouth. And I'm saying gush, cause that's what it was. It looked like the ocean. Like I see how water just go whoosh. And then I looked at her eyes. My mother has gray eyes, but they went from one shade of gray to another shade of gray. And it looked like somebody had lifted up a curtain or she it went up like that that's how her eye that's how her eye um the color changed in the eye but i didn't even realize at that time that she had passed away at that moment i didn't once my sister made the bed i went to carry her and put her back in the bed and now all of a sudden she was really heavy it was like she went from light as a feather to being like a ton of bricks and I'm sitting here like, oh my God, how did you get yourself so heavy? How, what are you doing? I thought she was doing something to prevent me from picking her up. Because my mother hated to be um, helpless. Like, she hated us having to clean her up and stuff like that. So, I thought she was doing something. I, I was actually angry at her. I'm like, Mom, what you doing? Like, stop. I can't carry you. What are you doing? How are you trying to make yourself so heavy? You're just light as a feather and now you're heavy. So, I carried over to the bed. Put it down. My sister's dressing her. And then my sister's like, don't want to come here. Don't look like she's breathing. Do you see her heart beating? Do you see her chest going up and down? And I didn't see that either. So I stopped plucking her foot. Like, ma, ma, wake up, wake up. And that's when we discovered that she had passed away. But I said all that to tell you that it wasn't until her soul left her body that she became, that she was dead. Because what we are, we're the soul, we're the spirit. The spirit that's in, when our spirit left her body, that's when she <coughs> was dead. So you are a spirit. Without that spirit, this body is just a casing. And that's all it is. A lot of people focus so much on the case and how they look on the outside that they don't um, they don't understand the importance of the spirit that's on the inside. 
the spirit is what brings you to be everything that you are. Now, I know in this world, <clears throat> because the bad that's versus the evil is always trying to separate us from the creator. But there's no real separation from us because the creator lives inside of all of us. Every single one of us have the, a part of creator in us. That's how we're here. But a lot of people don't know how to connect to that and they don't even understand it or they refuse to understand it. And that's what the that's what the evil part of the, the, the battle is, is trying to do. They're trying to keep you separated from understanding who you are, that you are a creator yourself, that you create your life, you create your reality. You are the creator of the reality. So anything that's happening, good, bad, or indifference in your life was brought on into your life by you. You are the only person that can accept it. A lot of people say, <clears throat> Well, I can't. I don't have anything to do with, with, with what goes on in my life. Things just happen. No, they don't. They don't just happen. That's the that's that's the part of the way the world wants you to believe and think. But you create your reality. Every single thing that you do in your life is created by you. It's created by what we call the the beliefs you have in your subconscious mind. But it's actually that subconscious mind that the world calls the subconscious mind is actually the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit was placed with each and every one of us to do to give us the things that we desire in life and in, in, in want in life and to, to not the actually the things that we want and desire in life but the things that the Creator want for us in life. We have a purpose and the the Holy Spirit is here to guide us on that purpose of what we're here. And that purpose is really not to serve you. <laughs> that purpose is to serve the Creator. But the world has convinced us that we're here to serve ourselves, that everything is, that we're supposed to be self-serving, everything is me, 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 and you know, I'm the most important person in the world, it's all about me, because that's the world's way of getting us to think and believe. <clears throat> but once you connect with that spirit, once you connect with that Holy Spirit that resides inside of you, and you trust it and believe it, you can get and ha do have the things that you want because the de desires of your heart is what once you once you're clear on who you are, the desires of your heart will become clear and what it is that you are sent here to. You're here to help people. That's what you're here to help God's people in some kind of way. You're here to help them. You're here to serve them. Your job is to be a servant, a servant of some kind. <clears throat> so once you understand who you are, then you can start. Do being having the things that you want. You can start getting that correct mindset that you want. I actually wrote a book on it. I actually wrote this book a while ago, but I'm gonna give it to people now. It's called How to Develop the MLM Top Earner Mindset, and it gives you step by step of who you are and how to how to connect to your Creator, how to connect to that Holy Spirit that's inside of you. It gives you exactly how it is, how you can start changing the way that you think so that you can. Start being having that same top earner mindset where they're saying, you know, I can easily recruit 100 people. I go out tomorrow and recruit 100 people. I can start a, I can start a new network organization and tomorrow I get 200 people. I mean, that is the kind of mindset you want. And it shows you exactly how you can get to that mindset. So, if you want your own copy, you can go to www.mlmtopearnermindset.com forward slash ebook. This is an ebook, okay? You can go get your copy of the ebook today. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to share a little bit of information with you. I hope something I said to you today is helpful for you, because uh, we are going to be crack crushing it in this network marketing. Industry. Because you know what, recruiting people is easy. <coughs> it's real easy for me to recruit people, right? <laughs> Have a blessed, awesome day.